Good morning, all of you. Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. So yesterday uh, we had started tense. We will continue with the same topic today. Is it? Okay. So yesterday we had done uh, simple present and present continuous, isn't it? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So. You trust us, all of you. Use of present continuous tense. Yeah, are you are you saying are you saying an anurag? Use of present continuous. So when do you use the present continuous tense? You use it to express uh, an activity that is going on at present. Huh? Action. To express an action that is going on at present. Okay. Uh, like uh, we are studying English. Abhi ho raha hai. Huh? Studying English. But it is also used to express a future planned action. Huh? It is also used to express uh, have you written the notes in your fair copy yes, yes ma'am ma um, yes um, ma'am so all the structures uses whatever I, I gave yesterday you maintain a copy and it is also uh, sometimes you know you use the simple present for future planned actions like uh, i'm going to delhi next month so what is the tense here tense is present continuous like in present continuous also sometimes it is used to express future i'm going to delhi next week okay so then we move on to uh, present perfect What is the third kind of tense in the simple present? Present perfect. So what is the structure of present perfect? In present perfect, we use subject plus has or have plus B3 plus object. So one thing that you have to remember is that in the uh, present perfect form, you always use the V3. Means if you have has or have in a sentence, so you will always use the third form of the verb. So with the with has or have, you cannot use the past tense. You, do you, uh, if I say a sentence, 
he has saw the Taj Mahal. Is it correct? No, ma'am. So no, ma'am. What is the mistake? He has saw the Taj Mahal. He has seen the Taj Mahal. He has seen the Taj Mahal. Yes, he has seen the Taj Mahal. So, uh, has is there. So, which form of the verb you are using? You are using the V3 form. form. V3. Uh, V3. Uh, do you say, I have did my homework? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. How do you say, Tanvi? I have done my homework. Yes, very good. So you say, I have done my homework. So whenever you have has or have, you cannot use the past tense. You have to use the third form of the verb. So in the structure also, you have a subject plus has, have plus V3. Again, when to use has and have, has for singular and have for plural. Has singular and have plural. Of course, uh, again, uh, I and uh, you are exceptions. With I and you, you always use the uh, plural only. I have, you have. So I and you are exceptions, but in the third person, you have to remember with singular, you have to use has like she, he, she has, uh, he has. <laughs> But if the subject if the subject changes to they, then have. have. They, they have. have to use have. So uh, in the third person, you have to remember that with he, she, you have to use uh, has because it is singular. Again, if it becomes they, then it will become plural. So this you have to remember. So. Can you uh, give an example of a sentence in present? I I have it, uh, eaten my lunch. I have eaten my lunch. I have lost my watch. Yes, Ria has taken her dog away for a walk. Ria has. She has just taken her tea. She has just taken tea. Okay. So one, she has lost her watch. She has taken tea. Uh, okay. So this also uh, and how you make the negative negative making negative is very easy. You just have to add ha uh, not in has or have. Plus not. Other things remain the same. Huh? So uh, make the negative of any of the two sentences in the example. She has not lost her watch. Okay, very she has not taken. The train has not gone. She has not taken, uh, taken tea. Yes. Well. I have not done my homework. Okay. So I have not done my homework. This is also a sentence in the present perfect uh, negative. Hmm? So uh, you can also write the contracted form. Just say for have not, you can also use haven't. For has not, you can also use hasn't. It means the same. Uh, so instead of has not, you can write it like this way also. Huh? Haven't. It means the same. Have not and haven't. It means the same. Okay. Then uh, interrogative. Making interrogative is also very easy. You just have to change the order. You have to bring this has here and this she, you have to shift it here. Huh? So how will you, uh, what is the structure for in, uh, interrogative? First you use has or has have plus subject. Plus subject. Plus V3. Yes. Plus object. So uh, 
give an example of a sentence in uh, interrogative uh, present perfect interrogative have you eaten your lunch uh, for lunch you don't use eaten have you had your lunch So, have you had another example? Has he written the letter? Okay, very good. Has he written the letter? Has she gone to Delhi? Yes, very good. Has she gone to Delhi? Have you ever seen a peacock? Uh, yes. Has he gone so? Uh, what do you observe in all these sentences? All the verb forms, written, gone, uh, all are uh, the third form of the verb. So always you have to remember that whenever you have has or have, you will always use the V3 form, third form of the verb. Then we come to interrogative negative. So in this, uh, the structure is has, have, plus subject plus not plus v3 plus object so example of a sentence in interrogative negative have you not done your work okay yes very good have you not done your work? one thing i missed the have they not seen the taj mahal yet yes I missed the question mark. Always, uh, if there is an interrogative sentence, it will end with a question mark. Okay. Uh, repeat your uh, example. Have you? Have you not done your work? Okay. Yes. Very good. Have you not done your work? Okay. This is an example. Have they not seen the Taj Mahal yet? Yes. Very good. Have they not seen the Taj Mahal yet? Uh, not I missed. Have they not seen the Taj Mahal yet? So, interrogative negative. Now, when do you use uh, this present perfect? You use it for an action that has just been completed. To express... An action jo abhi turant hua hai, that has just that has been completed in the recently. Okay. Recently. Then you also use this tense to express, uh, uh, you use it when uh, a time of the past, we use it when a fixed time in the past is not mentioned. Means action, when the action was completed, it is not mentioned. Huh? Like suppose you have a sentence. So if, suppose if you have a sentence. Uh, Uh, mute yourself. Someone's mic is on mute. Sandhya saying. Okay. Yeah. So if you so if you have two choice, which is which will be the correct choice? If the option is given. I saw. Have seen. No. I saw. I saw the Prime Minister. This is what I uh, just told you now. 
that when the time is not mentioned then you can use the present perfect form huh just now you wrote the second use that when the time of the past is not mentioned here the time of the past is mentioned so you have to use only the past tense but if uh, the time was not mentioned suppose you have the sentence i dash the prime minister here it is not mentioned past time is not mentioned then you can use have seen then you can use both have seen or saw but if past time is mentioned then you have to use only the past tense okay so then we move on to our fourth uh, tense in the present ha huh? <coughs> present perfect present perfect continuous so what is the structure of the present perfect continuous subject plus has have uh, again has have depends on the subject singular has plural have i and u are exceptions i with i and u you always use have a uh, subject plus been plus verb plus ing so and in this present perfect continuous you all you also uh, use since or for since or for plus time expression okay yeah okay so then i will write it's gaya ho gaya so present perfect continuous so what is the structure subject plus has or have plus been plus verb plus ing plus object object of course is optional as i told you you can have sentence without object also i am reading this is also a sentence i am reading a book here you have the object ha uh, so you can have the sentence thus a sentence can be complete even without the object object plus since or for plus time expression so how uh, can you give an example anyone example of a sentence in simple a present perfect continuous i have been studying in this school for nearly 10 years okay i have it has been, been it uh, it has been They raining been of spot uh, to Okay, one by one, Janvi. Yes, ma'am. It has been raining for two hours. Okay, very good, Janvi. Anyone else wants to give example? I have been studying yes, in school for nearly ten okay. years. Okay, Srija. Then next. They have been running for three hours. They have been running for three hours. So, uh, did you observe in all the sentences? For is there? or you can use since also uh, so uh, in the present perfect continuous tense if you don't use since or for the sentence will not be complete i have been studying the sentence is incomplete so you have to use since for and the time expression expression i have been studying for 4 hours i have been studying since morning so do you know when to use since and when to use for Yes, ma'am. When do you use since? Ma'am, when time is expressed. No, uh, you uh, you use since for a uh, point of time. Since is used for a point of time. Point of time means uh, suppose if one particular year is mentioned, nineteen ninety five. so here you'll use since ah uh, 
I have been staying in Patna since 1995. This is a point of time. Suppose the uh, one particular month is mentioned, means Monday. I have been absent from the school since Monday. So with one particular year, with the uh, one particular um, day, or suppose uh, March. Here also you will use since. Uh, I have been learning swimming since March. So when you have point of time, a particular year is mentioned, particular day is mentioned, particular month is mentioned, then with morning, evening also you use since. It has been raining since morning. Uh, but when you have period of time, like uh, four years, uh, two weeks, uh, five days. All these are periods of time, duration. Uh, so for is used for period and since is used for point of time. Means one particular year is given or uh, one particular uh, weekday is given or one particular month, then you use since. But for period four years, two months, six days, so for that you will use for. So this since and for, yes. I just uh, told this to exp explain this. So, <coughs> okay. We will... Uh, Take an example. Uh, I have been studying. I have been studying in DAV for 10 years. Yeah, DAV since 2010. Uh, a particular, if 2010, hai to, then you will use since. Uh, one particular year is given. Okay. Then what is the structure in negative? Very easy. You just have to use no or not after have. Uh, so negative, negative structure is subject plus has or have plus not plus been plus verb plus ing, plus object, plus since for, plus time. Okay. So give an example of sentence in a present perfect continuous negative. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. So wait, I'll point out some of Abhinay Raj, Abhinay Raj, can you hear me? Harshita, Harshita 9B, your name is there in the participants. Harshita, no response. Akansha 9E. Akansha? Yes, ma'am. Give an example of a sentence in uh, present perfect continuous negative. Akansha? Ma'am, she uh, had not been uh, doing her work. Okay. Tumhara example, so incomplete has since for you haven't are you you said yes ma'am uh, ma'am can i ma'am okay. since uh, okay puja last night okay puja wants to answer okay puja has he not been playing in the dust for one hour so you have used has he so it has become a question 
Ma'am, can I answer, Srija? Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, can I? Okay, Tanvi, answer. You have not been suffering from fever for one. You have not been suffering from fever. Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, can I? For one okay, week, Srija, answer. I have not been feeling well since morning. Okay, yes. I have not. Feeling well since morning. Yes. Okay. So this is the structure of negative. Then for interrogative, what is the structure? Very easy. You just have to shift this has here and this subject here. Other things will remain the same. So has or have first. और और नॉट को फिर हटा देना है नॉट सो यू जस्ट हैव टू चेंज द वर्ड ऑर्डर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंड द हैज हैव प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस बीन प्लस वर्ब प्लस आईएनजी प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट प्लस सिंस और फॉर प्लस टाइम ओके so uh, one example who will give yes. example ma'am can i ah. ma'am can i wait ma'am can i ten students janvi srija tanvi yes only three or four students are responding aditi kumari aditi can you hear me aditi aditi no response Join the class and gone somewhere. Aditi Kumari, Naini, Akansha. Akansha, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Chalo, uh, you give an example of a sentence in present perfect continuous interrogative. Ma'am, uh, have uh, uh, Sheena been a uh, uh, working? Uh, Working since uh, uh, last night. Okay, has Sheena. So Sheena is singular, so you will not use have. So okay, good. Has Sheena been working since last night? Okay. Okay. then the last one in this interrogative negative okay interrogative negative also very easy you just have to add a uh, not after the subject has or have plus subject plus not plus been plus verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time expression okay so who will give an example srija ma'am tanvi tanvi okay tanvi has he not been living in the house for a long time okay has he not been living here for a long time has he not been so this is an ex okay so now i will give you some verbs you have to uh write the uh, present and uh, past and the past perfect okay uh what is the past uh, of lose 
this is v1 you have to give the second matlab uh, the past v2 is what past and v3 is what past participle okay who will answer participant are listening ha huh? participant avnish avnish pande naini avnish can you hear me avnish the two hands are up what about others what is the v2 and v3 of lose question once i start asking question you start leaving ha huh? harshita harshita चलो ये लोग आंसर ओके श्रीजा मैम लॉस्ट यस पास्ट इज आल्सो लॉस्ट एंड एंड पार्टिसिपल इज आल्सो लॉस्ट यस वेरी गुड और मीट तन्वी यू रेज योर हैंड व्हाट इज द v2 एंड v3 ऑफ मीट तन्वी मैट मैट Yes, very good. Met. Yes, ma'am. Yes, met and met. Okay. Only bring. We'll answer. Wait, I'll point out. Ma'am, Abhinayaraj, Ayush Kumar, nine B. Ayush Kumar. Ayush. मैम 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 नया एक आवाज आया है कौन है है कौन बोलो सूर्य प्रताप वेरी गुड ब्राउट ब्राउट यस ब्रॉट इट इज प्रोनाउंस ब्रॉट इट इज नॉट प्रोनाउंस ब्राउट यस ब्रॉट यस ब्रॉट ब्रॉट वेरी गुड यू हैव टू शो इंटरेस्ट bring brought brought okay or kon anurag uh teach ka batao anurag can you hear me anurag aditi Aditi, can you hear Mayank? Mayank. Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, can I? Surya Prata. Cha chalo, Surya Prata. Ma'am. Ma'am, thought, thought. Ma'am, V two, V three, dono hoga thought. Yes, very good. Thought and thought. Sing ka batao koi. Sing, sing, sang, 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 sang. Yes, very good. Sing, sang, sang. Then, six, one. Flee. Ma'am, me. Isko bhi copy me likhna hai. Ha. flee have you heard of the word flee yes ma'am what does it mean ma'am bhag jana ma'am flee no no flee is different flee yes bhag jana fled hoga flee means run away yes very good flee past tense is fled and the past participle is also fled then grow What is the grow grew grown? Grew grown. Grew grown. Yes, grew very good. Grew grown. Grew grown. Grow grew grown. Then uh, fly. Fly. Can you tell? Fly. Flew. Flown. 
Yes. Fly. Fly flow a few flown. Few flown. Fly flew flown. Then flow. You know the difference between fly and flow? Yes, ma'am. Flow matlab behna or fly matlab urna. Very good. Flow. What is the past and the participle of flow? Flow ka flowed. Yes. Flowed. The river flowed. Uh, here, fly flew flown. Are you here? Flow flowed flowed. What's the meaning of weep? Ma'am, pooch na. Ma'am, floor ko wipe karna. One... Ma'am, weep matlab rona. Yes, weep means to cry. Weep means to cry. That is sweep. Huh? One word is sweep. That means pooch na. This is weep. Huh? So both are verbs. Weep. What is the past and the participle? Weep. Ma'am, weep. Yes. Ma'am, web to web. Ma'am, web to web. Web to web. See? Ma'am, sleep. 13 participants. Ma'am, sleep, slept, slept. To complain to your... Swept. Swept. Okay, sweep, swept, swept. Sweep matlab pochna. The maid sweeps the floor. Okay. Bye. Bye ka bata. Bye, bout, bout. Bye, bout, bout. Bout, bout. Pronounce it properly. Is it bout? Bye. Bot. Bout. Bot. 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 It's pronounced bot. You ko pronounce nahi karte hai. It's just bot. Ring. Rang. Yes, rang. Rang, rang, rang. Ring, rang, rang. Rang, rang. Ring, rang, rang. Squeeze your class teacher, class nine. Ma'am, ma ring. Ma'am, ma ring is a noun. Ring is both a noun and a verb. So here uh, I'm asking for ring as a verb. Ring matlab bajana. The tune rung, the, rings the bell. There are many words which are both noun and verb. So ring, someone's mic is um, unsure.